In a previous video, we took a look at the ideal gas law. And one of the things that we saw was that PV equals NRT was a good tool to use in a problem if we were looking for moles of gas. Well, another situation where we've looked for moles of things over the semester is stoichiometry problems. And so what I wanna think about is the fact that stoichiometry and gas laws are a match made in heaven. They're a really good thing together. So let's try a few problems. Here's one that involves decomposing calcium carbonate. And I've got a chemical equation for it below. And we wanna know the volume of CO2, right? It's a gas and we know how much calcium carbonate we started with. If this was the beginning of the semester when you first got here, we could answer the question, how many grams of CO2? Or what's the molarity of CO2 or things like that? But now we wanna know how many liters. And what I wanna remind you is that stoichiometry always gives moles and then moles can go to liters using PV equals NRT, right? So let's try it. Let's start with that 0.5 grams of calcium carbonate. And let's do a quick check. Let's make sure that our reaction is all balanced. I see one calcium and one calcium. I see one carbon and one carbon. I see one plus two, three oxygens and three oxygens. So we're good, right? Always check your balancing. Another thing I'm going to have to do is the molar mass, which is 100.08 grams of calcium carbonate in a mole. Remember, our goal was to come out with CO2 at the end. So let's now convert one mole of calcium carbonate, one mole of CO2. Why? Because both coefficients are one. I can stop here with stoichiometry. Going to, gram, or going to grams is a waste of my time, right? Because I need PV equals NRT and PV equals NRT doesn't use grams. So let's do this calculation. So 0.15 divided by 100.08 ends up being 0 0.00150 moles of CO2. All right, that's N in PV equals NRT. So let's set that up and solve for volume. Pause and see what you get. Before we do the actual solving, I want to point out that STP means a pressure of one atmosphere and a temperature of 273 Kelvin. And so now it's all over but the algebra. So 0 0.0015 times 0 0.08206 times 0.273. And of course, all of that's divided by one at the end. But the volume ends up being this. I get a volume of 0.0336 liters, or remember that that would be 33.6 milliliters. So it's not quite as small as it looks. Again, stoichiometry is just a route to moles, and moles can go into PV equals NRT without any problem. Let's try another. All right, so let's look at the production of sulfuric acid. And in this case, I see that there's some sulfur solid and some oxygen gas. That might be the one that I need for this problem. And I'm making a liquid and an aqueous thing. What am I trying to find? I'm trying to find volume again. What am I given? Well, I have a temperature and I have a pressure. And I notice that these are not the right units, right? I'm gonna to need to convert this to Kelvin and pressure needs to be in atmospheres. And what I want you to know is that there's 760 millimeters of mercury in an atmosphere. So we'll do that conversion in a moment. And what else do I see? Well, I see a certain amount, right, of sulfuric acid. So maybe I need to go from sulfuric acid to oxygen using stoichiometry and then use the ideal gas law. So let's set up the stoichiometry problem first. Pause the video and see what you get. All right, I hope you have a setup like this. First off, we need to go from kilograms to grams. Second off, we need to go to moles of H2SO4. Why? Because then we need to go to moles of O2, right? Always grams to moles and then moles of A to moles of B. And when I do that math, I get a pretty large number of moles of O2. And you know what? 
Sometimes I'd be bothered by that, but look at how high this amount was, right? A whole ton of H2SO4. So it's going to take a large number of moles of O2. All right, we didn't want moles, we wanted liters. So let's go ahead and do our conversions and set up our ideal gas law. Pause the video, put the numbers in and see what you get. Remember that in this setup, we needed to get our pressure to atmospheres. So we have 745 millimeters of mercury and then the conversion of course is to divide by millimeters of mercury to get to atmospheres. That's why I have 0.98 atmospheres down here. And then 22 degrees Celsius, I need to add, right, degrees Celsius plus 273. So that's why I have 295 Kelvin in this setup. And now it's all over but the calculation. So pause and try it. So I get 342,717 liters. Again, I'm making a literal ton of sulfuric acid. So I'm not surprised that this is a pretty large number. But once more to summarize, PV equals NRT is a way to use moles to relate to volume temperature pressure. And stoichiometry is a way to calculate moles. The two things go together really well, and it gives us an extra layer of things that we can calculate. One caveat with all of this though, everything we did in this video involved a single gas, right? There was one gas in the whole equation on the reactant side or on the product side. When there's more than one gas, we're gonna have to come up with one more concept to help us out. So stay tuned.